Hey, what's going on, Bubbles? How you been, man? No way. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind helping you. I can get there fairly shortly. You just you need me to just haul some stuff. That's perfect. You know, I got I got the Cummins Turbo Diesel. That thing will pull anything, and I really mean anything you throw behind it. Um, I'll stack up one of our biggest trailers, and I'll be on my way, man. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Can't do this. I cannot do this. This is not safe. My, it's the mirrors. It is all in the mirrors. Yeah, they're flipped out right now, but I think that's as, <clears throat> oh, that's as far out as they go. Maybe they slide up this way. I don't, I don't know. I thought they would come out a little more, but that is too dangerous for me. I am not by any means whatsoever. No matter what the award is, I am not pulling a trailer that large behind this truck when I, my mirrors only extend out that far. That is too dangerous. It is just, it is not worth it. I know I'm very needed for this moment, but that trailer, no matter what anyone says, is way too big to only have mirrors that hang out that far. I definitely, I gotta, I gotta figure this out, man. Good afternoon, Bugsters. Once again, you already know it is the one and only, yours truly, your boy, Bugs. Like always, you guys know your boy Bug is coming through, coming through with another banger for all of you guys to enjoy, to laugh at, to, I don't know, just just watch. 2,000 likes on today's video and I gotta keep you guys on your toes. To like this video, I want you guys to only use your chin. If you have facial hair, go grab the trimmers. I'm gonna have to do it too when I like this video, but use your chin, like it. 2,000 likes, no cheating, let's Get it. I mentioned in my last video where I got the windows tinted on Clifford the Big Red Dodge. If you guys have not yet seen that video, it is a banger. Go check it out after watching this one though. But in that video, I told you guys I was doing another giveaway with my Bugman merch and the Visual Labs. We just did a nice collab. And I'm going to be picking the winner for that t-shirt uh, some point in this video. I'm not sure when, so just stay tuned so you can find out if you want a bunch of free swag. So as you guys can tell um, from the intro of this video, I. I gotta get this trailer to my friend Bubbles. He needs some help towing some stuff. He knew I had a big, badass diesel truck and one of the biggest trailers is this one right here. Take a good hard look at it. Anyways, um, I ran into a quick of a doozy. The mirrors on my truck are not, like, they're not safe enough, to, I feel, to pull a trailer in such large size. So we're gonna have to figure something out with that. Well, I, I thought that these mirrors would like, flop this side and like extend out even longer or maybe even pull out but they don't and just the standard tow mirrors like this setup right here is for looks I need an even wider setup for towing like that giant gooseneck trailer back there so Dodge Fat from Factory did not do anything like that so we're going to have to make our own today and I'm going to show you guys how to make your tow mirror extensions so you can tow anything meantime I'm going to disconnect this gooseneck because like I said it is not going to do me any good until I get those tow mirrors extended this is just oh just having this on the truck and pulling it that far terrified me I ordered this tow mirror extension kit off of eBay I think the total price was like three hundred and seventy two dollars uh, after tax so yeah this is I don't know I'm really excited that I had a lot of great reviews on eBay for this tow mirror extension kit 
Uh, so I'm gonna be giving you guys like a tutorial and an instructional informational video on how to install it. Come on everyone, gather around the campfire, get real nice and cozy. So I got my uh, flexible yardstick here and I'm going to make my measurements. So this, cause this is like a cut to your own personal type kit. So it looks like this is 20 inches long. And, oh, damn it. I need it to be, this is, I'm gonna have to probably glue that down to the floor. Anyways, it's 20 inches long, uh, 10 inches is half of 20, so that would be the middle, and that's where we're going to uh, mark this and then cut it. Perfect, wow, that was actually really good. Now I just gotta cut that. Next step, you're going to need to get yourselves a military grade assault box cutter. Look at this thing, this is a bad machine. And then you're just gonna stick it on your line you drew, and you're just gonna kind of saw across, like so. Do your best to stay on the line. I'm kind of not really, but it's, we're doing good, I would say. Going really smooth, the blade's staying in great, kinda. Just takes your time, and it, My muscles were too big for the other box cutter, so I went to a more sleek, undercover, assault box cutter. This is the X-Acto 9000. I think you can find these on the dark web, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna finish our cutting. So if you're gonna do this and you're under the age of 20, make sure your mom is like not home and just be like, hey mom, is it cool if I get on your computer and play Club Penguin for a little bit? And she's like, oh yes, darling, that's fine. And then so you just do this and she'll just think you're playing Club Penguin and she'll never have an idea. As you guys can tell that took about four hours, lots of hard work, dedication, and a good knowledge and craftsmanship. This is what we have so far. To some of you, you may think, wow, Bug, that already looks amazing. You guys, I am not even done yet. Hold your horses. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get you some rubber sticky weld. Uh, I, I prefer this over like MIG or TIG welding. It's just, I don't know. I have to go to college for like three years to learn how to do this, but I feel like it gives you a better result. Right, so we're gonna lay a nice bead down right across the middle. Oh, that's really good. Look at those beads that I just laid down with the sticky rubber welt. Don't mind that one. That's, I didn't have my mask on right there when I did it. I'm gonna paint match them before I put them on my truck. I'm not just gonna be basic and half ass it and put them on there just being this color or just black. So after I paint match it, then I'll get the glass put in. We'll slap them onto the truck. We should, they should just bolt right up. Right, now it is time to get these color matched. I have a buddy that owns a paint shop. He's got a booth and everything, and he mixed up a quick can of this Tomir paint match. He said it was the same as my color code. So normally I wear a welding mask while painting just to protect my eyes from the bright red color, but I figured, hell, I didn't wear it while I was welding, so do I really need it now? I don't want it, you guys going down below in the comments make like, wow bug, you were not safe making this video. You did not wear the proper gear while painting your mirrors. I just don't want to hear it from you guys, okay? Leave me alone. Make sure you get real close. You want to get a good even, oh, it's already running. You want to get a good even amount on the force. So get real, real close when you paint. I heart. But it's like a couple of rock critters I accidentally kicked up onto the paint, but it's okay. It's just gonna, you know, add character, make it different from everyone else's. And I did not have a chance to paint match the other side because I ran out of spray paint. I really did not feel like spending another $870 on a can of this high grade spray paint. While that's drying, might as well go in and get the glass. Uh, and everything cut out, that way we can put on the mirror itself. We'll go in and do that. I'm gonna show you guys how you can home make your own mirrors. I don't use actual reflective glass because I am just, I'm so good looking, I, I get jealous of myself when I look 
at my mirrors. And so I'm gonna be using like a chrome-ish spray paint. That way it's like there's enough reflection but not too much I end up falling in love with myself while driving and causing a wreck. What are you doing in the garbage? Huh? What are you doing in the garbage? Nothing. Dude, are you fi you're not filming right now, are you? No, of course well, I am. I was looking for a uh, gym threw away an extra sandwich that I was going to get, and then I also needed a little more of this paint, but you know, we're going to have to delete that clip. Yeah, that makes it, that's kind of embarrassing if you can't believe that. But everything is dried, it's ready for installation, so we are going to use a metal stamper, and we're just going to stamp it and then get it put onto the truck and it is go time. So just like this, I'm not sure if you guys have never used a metal stamper, but they're not too hard to use on like a scuff one to 10, it's probably like a seven on a technical list, but you just smash on down like so, and you're good. Installation time, baby, can only carry one at a time because it's about 400 pounds. You can't really tell though because I am a strong person. You guys, just hold on. We have to do a little bit of extra fabbing. Thank goodness my brother does this for a living, and this is just this is his profession. So this is going to be our support for the mirror. Oh my God! One mirror is down, and you guys look at how good that looks. The paint coat and everything lined up perfect. And come on over to this side, you guys. Check this out. Not only are they paint matched, but come on, don't be shy. Look at that, there is my mirror. And look at all that visibility I am going to have for when I am towing this gooseneck trailer. You hungry? Yeah. It's rubber sticky load. Oh yeah, lay that right on there. Hi, bud. Woo, you guys ready for the grand finale final freaking preview baby before I show you guys the final reveal scroll down smash a like on this video using your chin 2,000 likes on this video no cheating I know you guys have gotten a great laugh out of this but just wait it keeps getting better drum roll please do 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 oh my look at that you guys the all new tow mirror setup I want all of you guys to go down below in the comment section right now and let me know what you think of the tow mirrors. Go down there and tell me good job. Tell all of us good job because we really truly worked hard for this dream to become a, a reality you guys and people all the time are making fun of me saying bug you always <laughs> But you always have your tow mirrors out. Your truck looks stupid. Well, guess what? Screw you guys. I have now proved you all wrong. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so impressed with how everything turned out. The paint match is unreal to you guys. Look at that reflection compared to that reflection. It's the exact same. All the welds laid, just laid down so nice. Beautiful beads, beautiful paint match and they're finally long enough where I can pull a gooseneck and really overall just feel safe. Now to like jump back to the intro of this video where I had to come up with an idea to be able to pull that giant gooseneck. Well, we have solved that issue. The mirrors are on, ready to go. It is time to hook back up to that freaking trailer and head out and you guys, oh, I'm so excited. It is go time. Let's go, come on, let's go, let's go.
crap, I just realized I forgot to load up the trailer, so we'll back up real quick. An effort spent for just the mirrors to fall apart? Are you kidding me right now? All of that effort. <laughs> Why? Why? Look, it's okay. Dude, get out of my face. No one. <laughs> no one understands. No one. Un <coughs> no one understands what it's what it's like. It's not just. Not just a tow mirror. Didn't want it to end this way, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please go down, hit that like button. It, it'll make me feel better. Let's get 2,000 likes, you guys, on this video. Let's get this thing trending. It deserves to be seen. Share it with your friends, your coworkers, your cat, Jerry, and your mouse, Tom. I don't care. And before I forget, I gotta announce the winner of the last t-shirt giveaway. It was in the last video where I got the windows tinted on my 2011 Cummins. In that video, I mentioned another giveaway, and the winner of that t-shirt is... Small Fry One. You are the winner right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the winner of the Visual Lab and Bug BMX collab t-shirt giveaway. If you guys have not yet followed these guys, go check them out. Look at, the, they post awesome pictures. They do awesome tint and wraps. Huge shout out to Small Fry. I will be sliding into your DM on the IG, so that way I can get your size and we will get that shirt sent to you. Thank you again to everyone that entered into the giveaway, followed me, Visual Lab, you guys are awesome. I love doing giveaways because it's like giving back to you guys, the ones that support me, and trust me, there's going to be plenty more in the future. If you guys wanna be up to date on all the awesome craziness, fun stuff, I am constantly doing hit that subscribe button baby with post notifications on it is that little bell up in the corner go smack it as hard as you can even if your screen cracks just go hit it thank you all so much for the incredible amount of support we are just like 200 subscribers away from hitting 50,000 that is an unbelievable goal and you guys 100k is next then it's a mil we're gonna keep going to the top and really from the bottom of my heart I just want to thank every single one of you so much because if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be here so again thank you I love you all I will see you all in the next video your boy bug is out peace Bye.